raining a little bit and it's a little bit rainy. But <laughs> <laughs> It's a bear track. It's a front foot of a kind of a probably a yearling bear, like a hundred to a hundred and twenty pound bear, small bear. It's the front foot track. <laughs> oh, well, he's swimming. No. No. It's beaver. See the beaver went through there and then looked on the other side of you. He went right down. He's up. He's going out in the woods right here, cutting trees down. Right. Him back up Whoa! <laughs> so, then where do you think it's beaver fun is? It's 7 a.m. here on a Saturday. It is seven days until the bear season starts. And uh, we've been uh, hammering away here. Uh, just going to give you a little update. And uh, today is stand setting day. So we're going to go out and hang uh, 10 tree stands. We're basically entering phase three, I guess you would say, of uh, the way I do this. My system, so to speak, of... Uh, of doing these bear baits um, so we get 15 baits going but I picked the top 10 because we've got some that mostly have nocturnal bears we got some that just have yearlings on them and so forth and so uh, we're gonna hang stands on 10 today so we're, we're cutting back I had to go uh, get bait as you saw yesterday was a freak day um, completely lost a day and a half of, uh, of work basically but at any rate we are uh, we're plugging away here and I got Josh and Daryl coming back they volunteered to come help me put baits out on the opening day of baiting and they said you know if you want help with anything else call us up so I said when we hang stands if you want to come and they're they're coming so we're going to have a steak fry i'm going to put a bunch of ribeyes on the grill when we get back today and so those 10 stands that we're putting out we're putting both ladder stands and hang on stands out and uh, that should be enough for seven hunters 
and we can always add more. Uh, some baits we could potentially kill two bears off of. Um, other baits obviously we won't. That's today's job and so it's going to be a, a long day in the woods. All right, so let's hit the woods. I got my grandson Skyler with me and uh, I'm going to be taking Daryl and then Bill and Josh are going to be hanging kind of the north end of the uh, area and we're each going to take uh, ladders and hang on stands and hang five each and hopefully we can be out of the woods by about three. that we have right here that are used. Here's the SD cards that are used. Here's the ones that are not yet. And then you grab an SD card out. Don't get it mixed up like I did. I did that on this bait actually. Last time we went baiting, I got the SD cards mixed up and I put in the old one again. And so we had no pictures. So you need to remember to put in the new one, not the old one. Well, it's Sunday evening here. It's been quite a week, quite a weekend. Um, so yesterday we got 10 stands up. Uh, we worked really hard and then had a bunch of ribeyes grilled on, had a big meal for the guys that came and volunteered to help put the stands up so uh, that was really nice good workers really make things go well and uh, I'm really grateful to these guys that came and helped out so my grandson Skyler was here I think for maybe like nine days um, he helped out a lot um, just is a really good worker for a 10 year old and uh, just was real nice to have him here he's got his own GoPro and he he generated a lot of footage that I had to go through and I did put some of it in this video. My wife came up for the weekend which was nice but I got the place to myself here and then tomorrow we're gonna go out and start running baits again just me and Bill and uh, we've got a lot more work to do. A couple more observations before I close this video. We have had the bait slow down quite a bit the last few days there's just a lot of natural foods out there and there was a lot of bear hunters including myself who saw acorns start dropping three four weeks ago and we thought that's great it's good that the acorns will be down a lot of them will be cleaned up before the season starts well they're still dropping there is just an incredibly huge crop of acorns in a lot of areas this year there's just a lot of a lot of natural foods out there the raspberries are still going good, which is, I don't know that I've ever seen it before. I'm not sure how to characterize this year. It's really spotty in some areas. They got good rains at the right time, and there seems to be a lot of natural foods. In other areas, it's not so good. But uh, we still got plenty of bears on the baits. It's just that we've seen a little bit of an uptick in nocturnal activity in the last few days, and also 
um, the bears are getting really picky. They're just kind of going rummaging through the bait and picking out the things that they like and that's typical when there's a lot of uh, other food in the woods for them to eat. They're, you know, they're programmed to eat natural food so what we're doing um, is out of the norm for them I guess you could say and so um, you know they the natural foods all, will always come first even if it's sweeter or better tasting or better nutrition the things that we're giving them it's just the way it works so we will see what happens here over the next few days this is Sunday evening and Thursday evening I've got some of my first hunters coming in the rest of them are coming in uh, Friday morning and then we'll start hunting on Friday I will try to bring you one more update before the season starts and then we'll um, we'll video the actual hunting and uh, recovery of some of the bears a couple of the guys that are hunting are going to film their hunts and and we'll bring that to you I really appreciate that you watch these videos and comment on them like them and and uh, help grow this channel it means a lot to me it's very important to me so thanks a lot and we'll see you in a few days